Yeah, I thought Taylor was poised at times. I thought he did a, a good job. He didn't get rattled. There's obviously, you know, a couple throws that, you know, he's going to want back, not because they were errant throws, just receivers that he missed that, that were open. And that's part of the process. And, you know, he'll be better for that. But, you know, we, we needed to be better. We, you know, it's, it's not on Taylor, right? So, you know, we needed to, you know, unfortunately we were in a situation where, he, you know, he shouldn't have to be back there 40 times throwing the football. We thought we made it into a one-score game to, uh, you know, make a game out of it. And thought we seized a little bit of momentum there. And, you know, then we didn't get the stop on defense. They had the explosion and, and the rest was, was done. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of Taylor. Like, he, he's going to be better. He's going to be fine. Thanks, man. It's easy to pick up penalties in isolated plays because they may not tell the whole story of the whole game. But you look at Revenberg's penalty, and I know that Chris Edwards had a chirping penalty at Ryan Dinwiddie. Those little details, are those things in the flow of a game maybe annoy you the most? Yeah, because they're uh, those are like repeated pattern. You know, it's it's not the first time that that's happened. Uh, you know, that's not in Revenberg's nature. You know. Toronto was egging him on, you know, Chris on the whole time. And, you know, I thought he kept his poise there. I don't know what was said um, as, as that happened. I know what the result was. And the result was it didn't help our football team. Uh, when it came to Revs, you know, obviously we were right there at the doorstep. And, and that wasn't, uh, it just isn't, what, those things aren't conducive to playing consistent winning football. Medical assessments happen day to day, but is, did you any, see anything from Taylor and knowing where Bo is? to kind of make a determination over the next couple of days if you want Bo to start practicing ahead of next week? Yeah, that's, the, the Bo situation is is really in the doctor's hands and in, in, in how Bo feels, right? So there's not going to be any rush there. Um, when Bo's ready, we'll be ready. And there's not, you know, Taylor's, you know, our guy right now. And, you know, he'll play better, we'll play better. Uh, it's not, not a lot of time in between. That's a third of the season down. At two and four is what it is. I'm still proud of our group. I, I think we have we have uh, we have great effort. We have those type of things. There's just things we need to clean up, and if we don't get them cleaned up, we're going to continue to, you know, maybe be two and four in the next third, and that's not good enough football. That's not what we do around here. So, uh, back to your original comment, Taylor's performance has nothing on hurrying up Bo back. So at this point, you'd expect him to be the starter next week. Uh, We'll find out. It's it's all it's all day to day. You know, like a harp on things. In the four games that you've lost, oh, mm -hmm. the first half scores have been like ginormous. Sort of the the wrong way. Anything you can pin that on? Yeah, we're not scoring and we're not stopping anybody. That's okay. you know, I mean, there, every game is different, right? Whether there's a short a short field, an explosion those type of things and you know it's not favorable you know what what I have to you got you got to hold on to is you know I thought we had a decent third quarter that, that resembles professional football and competitiveness and, and get in clawing and scratching you know I think um, they had the field goal there and again when you get it to a one score game when you can get to this in this league with three minutes to go you should have an opportunity and I thought that's where we were trending until the explosion happened so I on the first play after you make it a one score game, somebody bites in the backfield the wrong way. Correct. That's what I mean by the right. explosion for okay. them. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Anything else? Yeah. I'll ask. Hey, Coach, I wanted to ask you uh, about the signing of uh, Antonio uh, Pimpkin. And um, when you bring a quarterback in, how long does it normally take for a new quarterback to learn the, the system? Yeah, I think every quarterback's different and unique. Um, you know, we thought it was important that we bring in some experience. Um, I'm not, I can't sit here and give you a cookie cutter that it takes this long for a quarterback or for him. I can just tell you he's a professional, he's a quick study, and, you know, we'll do w whatever we need to do to, to try to you know, win the next football game. So I don't have an answer for you. It, 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 everything takes time. Everything takes time. How much, um, it's really how much you give them. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, so.